Hey, this is Jason, and today we're going to cover Aetna eApps as part of our Learning eApps series. First off, I'm going to walk you through a basic application, and, and the point I really want to make is eApps are not that different from traditional apps. They're almost the same, except for the fact that there's some big time saving features on the eApp, figuring out the premiums and calculating discounts, etc. You know, so up here we have applicant initials, and there's a lot of duplicated efforts here. So the eApp is going to speed this up. But in the end, you're going to end up with an application that looks just like this, but it's a little easier to fill in on the computer. We'll start out on the Aetna homepage, aetnaseniorproducts.com, and as an agent, you're going to click Agents. From here, you'll either log in or register if you don't have an account. Okay, now once you're in, it's right here front and center. Online applications are here, click to start. So I'm going to click eApp, and that opens up a new window where you have the option to start a new case or view your existing cases. In this example, we're gonna start a brand new case, and while it looks different than a paper app, this is going to be quite a bit faster. So we're going to fill this out for Jonathan Doe, who's a male. We're going to call this a test med sup. You can call this whatever you want. It's just for your reference. We're doing this in Illinois. Med sup. So once you choose the product type, which in this case there's only one type, but it asks us to find available products, click the button and it says you have the ACI MedSup available. So that's what we want. I'm going to click Select and across the left, this is kind of our ongoing status. It's going to ask us about the applicant, eligibility questions, agent info, and then eventually we're going to validate and lock the app so it can't be edited. So you'll notice each step of the way as you fill out something it's going to it's going to pre-fill it for you going forward. So we've already done Jonathan Doe. So we're gonna say he's a mister and maybe his middle initial is Q. Uh, date of birth 2-4-1950. So you'll notice it pre-fills his age. He's a male his social is 333-221111. He is six foot zero, 190 pounds. He is a legal resident. Now down at the bottom, it asks if there's another applicant. For this example, we're gonna say his wife is applying with him. So I'm gonna hit yes, and then we'll move on to the next page. Now we repeat that whole process for his wife. Now I mentioned some time saving features. Here's one. Address the same as applicant A. There we go. We don't have to refill that. Phone number does need added again. And I'm going to, I'm going on the premise that my clients don't have email addresses. If yours do, by all means collect those. If they're not present, you can use that for an electronic signature. And we'll move on to the next page. Eligibility questions. Applicant A did turn 65 in the last six months. His wife did not. Some fields are, are optional, so I'm going to leave these two blank. He does not have another Medicare supplement policy in force. He has had insurance through his previous employer. So based on those questions, applicant A qualifies for open enrollment and his wife did have another policy in force with Blue Cross Blue Shield and it was a plan F. 
She does want to replace hers. Okay, so that tells us she will have to be underwritten. So let's move on to the next page. So here we have the health questions. You'll notice applicant A, since he's open enrollment, does not have to complete those. Applicant B, his wife, does. So if any of these are marked yes, it's going to give us a red text at the bottom that says she does not qualify. So assuming these are no, then she will qualify. So we'll move on to the next page. Same thing here. Move on to the next page again. And here we have a few more questions. Have you been medically diagnosed, treated, or had surgery for brain, mental, or nervous disorder? No. We'll say no to question two. Let's say she does take prescriptions. So here, when you click yes, this box appears, and you click here to add any medications. So let's say simvastatin, and what is that? I think that's cholesterol. And we'll just save that, and we'll just leave it at that. So the page refreshes, and it's got that drug. If you need to add more, just click the button again. Okay, moving on. Your clients are going to have a primary physician, most likely. So in that case, you'll have to fill this out. I'm going to skip this to try and keep this short. But just know you'll have to fill in that form. Next up, and you'll see we're getting these green check marks as we go. Okay, so we'll fill in these questions too. And this is going to apply a household discount, if applicable. We're applying for Plan F, and we're, we're going to pay monthly, and it fills in the premium and the premium with discount for you, which is a nice time saver again. We're going to say draft on policy effective date, and the payor is Jonathan Q. Doe. Okay. Now, we'll do the same for Mrs. Doe, applicant B. Okay, the reason applicant B is purchasing insurance is same benefits, lower premiums, and click Next. Okay, so here we enter her existing policy number. and Blue Cross Blue Shield. Existing coverage that we're replacing, I'm just going to copy what's in this field and paste it over here. It's, it's all the same. And if this is confusing, I'm just doing Control C, Control V. Select the text, Control C, Control V. Just copy and paste. Okay, so all of our yellow fields are complete. We can move on. Okay, now another time saving feature is you, the agent, the first time you do this, you'll fill this section out and you can click Save to User Profile. And what that means is the next time you go to do an eApp, this will be filled automatically. Okay, and will there be more than one agent? If you're the sole agent, leave that no. If yes, then you fill in the agent and their writing number. And if you have anything to add here, do it, and we're gonna say Mail the policy to the husband. Okay, and we'll hit next. Green check marks across the board, that's good. 
So from here, we can lock the application and proceed to the signature process. So I've locked the app. We're going to go next. And here for the signature, we have three options. We can collect the client's signatures electronically, and that can be either in person or it can be emailed to them if they have an email address. Or they can do a voice signature, or we can simply print what we have to get their wet signature. Real quick, if we chose to do voice signatures, Here's a sample of the phone call your client would get. And then you'd get a PIN number, or they would get a PIN number, which you have to enter back into the site. Here's a sample of that. Welcome to Aetna's Automated Voice Signature System. This brief recorded interview will confirm your intention to apply electronically for Medicare Supplement Insurance and to obtain your consent to electronic delivery of documents. During this automated recording, if you need any of the questions repeated, please press the star key. To begin, after the tone, please state your first and last name, then press the pound key. June Smith. And we'll go ahead and stop it there. The call is actually about four minutes long, but that should give you a good idea of what to expect. Okay, but we're not going to do the voice signature, so we are going to do electronic signatures without email addresses. Okay, so once we click that, we have both of our clients present, and there's some instructions down here, but we're just going to click Next. In the agent instructions, we are to read this aloud to the client. So they have to click Yes. I've acknowledged and agreed to steps one to three. Uh, would you like a copy of the signed application sent to the applicant via email? Well, these clients don't have email. If they did, there's just a blank here to fill in the email address. But we're going to answer all these the same, and we'll move on to next. Okay, now we're on to e-signature consent. And there's a, a box here that theoretically your client's going to scroll through and read all of this. And the gist of it is we need to make sure they've reviewed their outline of coverage and the Medigap Buyer's Guide. If you want, you can click either of these buttons and that will open a new window with the outline of coverage, which they can review. Being that that's in a new window, we can close it. Don't need to do anything. Same thing with the Medigap Buyer's Guide. It will open in a new window and you can close it. The one you must click in order to get this checkbox to appear is review your application. And this is just like what we were viewing for the paper app. It's just the application pre-filled. Have your client review this, close it, and then at the bottom of this page, you now see a checkbox. I, Jonathan Doe, have reviewed the app, blah, blah, blah. Click that, and you can move on to the next one. Okay, so this is for applicant B. Same thing, we have to click review your app. Her app appears. It's the same one. All you have to do is open it and then close it. And then your checkbox appears, I, Janie Doe, and move on to the next page. So in this scenario, this is the signing process. John Doe has to check this box, or you have to on his behalf, assuming he's looking at your screen. Okay, so once he clicks that, this button appears. This is the signature. As soon as he clicks this, he has signed. So we're gonna click his, and then we can move on to Jane Doe. Okay, Jonathan Doe has signed, then we move on to Jane Doe. Now her button appears. And the agent has to check this box to complete it. 
Now I'm going to stop here because if I keep going, it's going to submit the app. But at any point in this process, you can click Save, and you can always come back to this. So if you have a client who's, who's been a client in the past and you want to pre-fill all of their information before an appointment, you can. Then you could open up the app that's partially completed during your appointment and just take the health questions and banking information. Okay, so here we see that John Doe has signed, Jane Doe has not. At any point, again, you can click View Forms. Now that John Doe has signed, we can come back and view the forms, and it will show his signature on the appropriate pages. So we'll scroll down and get to the signature pages. Okay, here's one. E signed by Jonathan Doe. It's got a timestamp and a signature. There it is again. And there it is again. So that's it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please let us know. We'll be happy to help. One other thing I'll point out is that on Aetna's website, they do have a guide that's a little more descriptive. If we go under the Training tab, under the eApp heading, click here for Training, and you have both a, a quick reference guide, FAQs, and the most detailed one is the Training Guide. And that's going to walk you through step by step. And then back on this page, if you want to hear the complete voice signature sample, there's a link there. And finally, I'd recommend you sign up for a webinar and go through this in, in detail. The Aetna reps can do this better than I can, but uh, we want to give you a quick overview of how all this works. So hope that helps. Again, let us know if you have questions. Thanks and have a great day.